At COTSO, we often get asked to assist our clients with the design of new grain storage and how it fits within their farming operation. It's one of the areas that we like to spend time with our clients and uh, provide the best assistance we can because we think that if the client gets it right, then the facility which is going to be there for quite some time will serve them very well. When planning grain storage, and particularly when planning on-farm grain storage, the first thing we need to consider is how much grain we need to store and how that needs to be segregated. It's often easy to put in one or two large storage silos, but if there not, is not enough ability to segregate the grain, a lot of that volume may become worthless. So we look at what the farm produces, the types of grain and the need to segregate. Often in that process we also look at an existing storage which may already be in place and how that might fit into the final design of a new facility. Part of any grain storage is to look at what the fumigation and aeration requirements are. If the grain's being stored for any length of time, particularly in our warmer climates here in Australia, we need to be able to fumigate to ensure that the grain can be stored insect free. Aeration comes into play when we have high temperature grain, so grain harvest at, harvested at a very hot time of the year, and when there's moisture, so higher moisture grains are at risk if we don't aerate the grain. Site selection for any new grain storage is important. We need to consider things like soil types, drainage, so can stormwater be dissipated from the site, and the availability of power. Often uh, three-phase power is desirable, but when it's not available, we can use generators. In any case, 240 volt power is useful. The site soil conditions can greatly impact the footing designs and therefore the cost of the final facility. The location of the facility should be considered in terms of a number of factors. It's not always possible to optimise all of these, but when considering where the grain storage will be located, we think about things like location relative to production. So for on-farm storage, that often means central to the farm. Also, road access, ideally all-weather road access, access to roads that have higher mass limits or are available to multi-combination vehicles so that uh, you can achieve lower freight costs out of the facility. Often, and even though it may not be ideal in terms of road access or site selection, we consider security of our facility. Grain can be stolen and so locating grain storage adjacent to houses and uh, Act other activities on the farm can help limit the potential for grain theft. When planning a storage facility, ideally we should always consider potential for future expansion. That doesn't just mean that the silo facility might grow to meet current needs, but also that it can grow to meet any future needs. So when production increases or the farming area increases, there's room to grow the facility 